guys welcome to testing tutorials from this is your case and today we are going to discuss about the form that is form is a page object model how we can able to implement it of conversion work okay here basically what is form what is the advantage of the form and how to implement our form into selenium cucumber framework okay form is basically a design pattern and this design pattern using to our creating the object repository a class is created for each object means each identification of that will create the pages and identify the web element of that particular page and contains that all the methods into your action on that objects separate the test objects and test scripts both we are going to separate okay to doing this because it will create one object tree and see now if we are going to here dev dot find element by dot id and name and send case i use and name i done for parameterization correct now tomorrow if i want to use the same in different different places then again i need to create this one means duplicate and also in case some day the developer is change that id name which is id name to user name then what will happen this test case will be filled and i need to identify all the places wherever i used for the login page and where the user name is presented there i need to every time i need to modify correct to reduce that we can able to do for one page object creation for that particular page and we can able to keep it there and we can able to learn like we can able to use that value to this particular location and we can able to do operations in tomorrow if they change also we need to change into the that particular page object and then it will reflect to all the places this is a concept the base object model is gives a very good design okay and what is advantage means we can able to code maintenance and changes and updates are easy just now i told you know, that name we can able to change and all that is this is easy making the code reusable we can able to reuse all the places it will improve the reliability and providing the kind of object documentation at the single places it will use very thing like the same time and effort and avoid rework and make test less attributes new testers creation is easy to foster and improve overall quality and efficiency okay now how we can able to implement this all the concept into our project means first we need to create for each page object means and i'm going to here and i'm creating for one package that is called objects okay i created object and i'm going to do for one page creation for this login page okay now i'm just i'm going to do for here i'm creating the class as login page and i'm finishing okay now next step is create the locators of all the objects to be used in that page means i need to create for this all the things for objects creation okay now i'm going to here and i'm just i'm going to buy same and i'm going to use the name by dot id and we can able to copy paste this name for id1 and save it here okay and the same thing by the password by that id and i will copy paste for password one login button login for login i'm going to do by dot id and i need to specify my value 
and login okay now my login page is ready then i need to my log objects are ready okay each object located that page i created now create the method or action to perform that particular object which now objects i created and i need to create for this values to some actions for that how we can able to do it now i'm going to do for public void enter name and i'm going to use it for name dot for driver creation purpose i need to create one more web object web driver and driver because i need to create the method right for that a driver dot find elements and i'm going to use the name dot send keys i'm going to give name okay because the by dot already provided and i'm just i'm pasting here the name i'm going to provide okay and here i can able to see in the entering for name and here it will take the name as here and for that i'm going to provide in the string name and that string name one i am going to give in here name one okay and again i have public void enter password and string password and i'm just i'm going to do here driver dot find elements password dot send keys it is not taking Okay. So in case I'm going to use password one. Okay. Now again I'm going to do for public void login button. And here I'm not going to pass because I'm just I'm not using any uh, value because that is a button. And driver dot find element. I'm going to log in dot click. Okay. Now my methods are ready. Then I need to use for <coughs> and that uh, which is a uh, objects we created refer into a test script. Okay, we need to create first test scripts and we need to use it. And the step definition, the previous example I used in this scenario, I'm going to use the same one to read in this concept. And here in the step space, I'm going to reuse in that particular one. To do that, how we can able to consume is we are going to create for this page object, their login page object into here. Okay, and we can say here. Login, login page, and equal to new login page, and we need to initiate this page into import that page object into here, and we can once we going to create for login page, and just it will hit for. You can see enter name is there, then you can able to use enter name. And 
same thing I'm going to do for password not and we can able to do for login button okay now my three options are ready and I can able to remove these two not required for remaining steps okay and how it will call in this web driver because here we created one web driver and also in the login page we created another web driver and how it will enter in these two concepts and how it will work in the single web page means we can able to do for creation of constructor public login page and I'm going to use for here and the same web driver I'm going to pass in here because and which is the web driver we are passing into a login page which is step depression place that web driver and this web driver to communication purpose we are doing this dot driver equal to driver this is what will happen it will take as a reference which is the object we are passing now here it will we can able to pass now we can able to pass here driver now I passed as a driver then it is taken as an object now this driver now this driver it will come to this constructor place it will refer to these two operations and it will say that we both are same you can able to use uh, my driver object to use and work for your option like that it will do that in the constructor place and once it is initiated then our method will walk into a same place nothing to change us <coughs> And this is a simple example which I am going to create for this and page object model purpose and this simple format way. <coughs> Once you run your class and you can able to see <coughs> these values it will read and it will implement. Once you run this class you can able to take that two things because parameterization framework uh, feature file probably I am using not going to create a new one. We can able to hard code values and we can able to use and we can able to do for same class parameterization one and we can able to implement. <coughs> now it took my name and again it will take one more example, one more browser. Now two concepts are ready and it is passed. Now see the two things are pass and tomorrow if you want to change login page to username then username it's a simple if you can able to come here you can able to add it and it will work and it will pass the value and once wherever you are using that all the places it will repeat because we are using for fixing there is a one single place that is login page. And if you are doing some other operations on some other op different page, that page also you can create objects like this and you can able to reuse. And you can able to do that all the things and in a short term and it will reduce the time. Okay. And this all the five steps I just now we verified. Okay. This is a simple uh, page object model creation. You can able to use in your uh, local system and try using then you can able to love this space object model i hope you understand and enjoyed this video if you like this video please like the video please subscribe to the youtube channel don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues thank you